From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening as the month of October starts and also a recession continues. In tonight's recording, we go over the breaking news of massive stimulus available. Huge checks up to $300,000, 300 checks, and that's just FSCs. Plus, we'll be going over those ISCs, inflation relief stimulus checks, brand new landing in your mailbox, the big money of LSCs that are impacted by the news that came in and on Friday. On Friday, we had the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index released, a great number, because it engages where inflation is right now, and most of the time, it gives you an accurate read of where that CPI-W is going to come in on October 13th. Big news, because this is the raising of the lifetime, and we have new indication today of why that number is higher, because of gasoline because of the surge of demand and the decrease of production. And you know what happens in early October as well? OPEC Plus meets. We'll go over the latest details of what OPEC Plus is doing, what the impact of Ian is on gasoline, why your benefits are going up even more. Plus, we'll be going over the latest details of this economy. Breaking details tonight. As more Americans are going paycheck to paycheck than ever before, more indication of a housing recession, more indication of the pinch of the dollar, and yet the wages are not raising up as quickly as the spending is. So spending, not necessarily you're spending more money, it's just that the goods are increasing and the cost is not leveling out. We'll have the latest details across the board. Plus, the big great news tonight, as massive stimulus available, massive checks, we'll go over all that for you. Step one, become a member. Step two, stay to the big second half. Promise me this, you will stay to the big second half because I have major checks for you and you need to get the looks, look at this chart. It is the month of October now, and this is phase two in which the economy slows very quickly. That's why you got to get that big sums of money. I'm going to go over everything you need to know, plus the impact of the Federal Reserve and its details as well, heating up tonight's broadcast. Your benefit raise, your housing market, your unemployment, your poor stimulus, all those breaking news and more heats up tonight's recording for the shores of Santa Monica, California. Let's get to the breaking news. It all starts right here, right now, as Evening's LA gets underway. Good evening, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful night. And we start with a new breaking details coming in overnight. It is the Atlanta Fed GDP now. You've seen that benchmark on the channel before. And it gives you an indication of where the gross national product, the GDP, ended for the prior quarter. It's released at the end of the quarter. And that end of that quarter was September 30th. And I have that breaking details right now. The Atlanta Fed GDP now, in that tracking tool that has 100%, nearly 100% accuracy, showed... The economy did not go negative in that third quarter of this year. Fascinating. Remember, the first quarter of this year, negative GDP growth. Second quarter, negative GDP growth. Two consecutive quarters, negative, a recession. But the third quarter came in slightly positive. So what does this mean for you? It does not mean there's no recession. It does not mean that the economy is getting better. It just basically says... It's not as indicative of the events of the prior quarter. Now, what are you expecting to see this week? You're expecting to have analysts saying, we're not in a recession. Analysts saying, we're turning the tide. We're getting better. That inflation's peaked, that everything is getting better. No, no, no. That, none of that is actually accurate whatsoever. But this Atlanta Fed GDP now is a number that people will manipulate for their narrative. What's your narrative? The economy is getting weaker, and that's why you have to get all those incredible for stimulus checks. In tonight's recording, we go over massive stimulus checks. Where are they? They are in the second half of this recording, after the commercial break. So make sure you stay to the very end of the recording, because I got a lot of checks to go over with you. What are those checks? The first, inflation relief stimulus checks, brand new, ISCs. We'll go over the latest details of those checks in the big second half. Second. FSCs, 
that are all stimulus checks. These are the big checks. These are the checks you want absolutely want to get. These are checks that viewers are walking away with $200,000 on this channel by becoming a member. These are checks that have $300,000 available for you and 300 checks all for you from the federal government paid by the president or Congress. This is federal stimulus checks. The third category is lifetime stimulus, LSCs. And this is impacted by the breaking news, which we're going to go over in one second. These lifetime stimulus are important because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Let's go into the breaking news right now. On Friday, we had a major inflation benchmark release, and it is the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, PCE. Why do I like this number? Because it comes about two weeks before every CPI, and it's generally accurate apple to apple. And that Personal Consumption personal Expenditure Index number, PCE, what did it say? Higher. Higher. The number came in and showed that on a monthly basis, inflation went higher, 0.6%, almost 1%. On an annualized basis, up 5%. Personal income rose 0.3% the same period, but spending rose 0.4%. See that? Yeah. That's not spending like you're buying a brand new Tiffany watch. That's spending because the milk is more expensive than the prior month. So personal income rose 0.3%, but the goods you had to buy at the market and things like that rose faster 0.4%. And when you exclude the gas and energy, we don't see a better number at all across the board. Now, this is very fascinating. Why do I love this number? I love this number for the following reason. This number is for the month of August. This PCE is for the month of August. And October 13th, we will get the CPI and that CPI-W for the month of September. But because this PCE is always so late in the month, it's generally apple to apple when comparing it to that CPI that comes out in two weeks. So that CPI is big news for you. Why? Because that's the race of your benefits. And your benefits will be announced on October 13th, but we'll have the latest breaking details on that coming up in just a second. Let's jump more into these numbers and what we saw. First, we had Leo Brannard, the number two of the Federal Reserve, reacting to the news. And what did she say? Do you speak French? <laughs> Are you one of those people like me? I don't speak French, but if I hear it, I understand it. Well, let me read you what she said, and then I'll ask you if you speak Fed. <laughs> do you speak Fed? I bet you do, because you've been watching this channel for a while. This was a comment from Leo Brannard. Monetary policy will need to be restrictive for some time to have confidence that inflation is moving back to target. Yeah, you do speak Fed, don't you? <laughs> Let's go over that sentence. Monetary policy will need to be restrictive. What does that mean? You know what that means. They have to raise interest rates. Let's go over the next part of the sentence. For some time. What does for some time mean? You know that answer as well. j Powell told you. Into 2024. You're really good. You do speak Fed. You know, you can travel around the world and travel to the Fed and speak Fed with them as well. Uh, until they have confidence that inflation is moving back to target. What is the inflation target rate? Oh, this is easy. We've been doing this for over a year on this channel. The target inflation rate is 2%. You speak Fed. You are fluent in Fed. You know, if only you could speak to the check and the check would wave back. <laughs> you're, you're getting better by the day. <laughs> now let's go over the other major stories that were hitting as this PCE was released. The number of Americans going paycheck to paycheck is growing very quickly. 60% of Americans are now paycheck to paycheck compared to 55% year to day, year, the prior year. And when you look at the middle class, and they're going to need stimulus as well, their situation's changing very quickly. People who make over six figures were living paycheck to paycheck at 38% of them last year. 45% of them are now paycheck to paycheck. That's why we have a new initiative on this channel. It's called hashtag stand for stimulus. S-T-A-N-D for stimulus. Go on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, tag your friends and share these videos and hashtag stand for stimulus. Tell them to come on over. Why do you want them to stand for stimulus? You want them to get as much stimulus as possible because they may be living paycheck to paycheck and you want them to get that financial freedom like you are on this channel before that stimulus is gone.
Bank America also has now told us in the breaking news that 71% of Americans now feel that their paycheck is not keeping up. And you know that because why? We had that PCE just released minutes ago. The PCE showed that the salaries did not go up as much as the spending. And Bank of America says Americans are dipping into their savings in record numbers. And this, my friends, is why you have to get these incredible stimulus checks. Now, let's go over the first category that's really huge of those incredible stimulus checks. They are the incredible FSCs. FSC, baby, and they amount to a massive amount of money. They all add up to wonderful monthly stimulus checks. First, how do you get this? You become a member. And in the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time. But let me just give you an overview of what these checks are so you get a sense of what's coming up late in this recording. These FSCs are $100,000 approximately, passed by the president of the first three checks, A, B, and C, in the month of March. Executive action. Joe Biden passed the first three checks, a, B, and C, and you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you're on benefits, go get it. The next group of FSCs, federal stimulus checks, were passed by Congress, bringing us to then hundreds of checks, and we'll go over those more checks in the big second half. And thereafter that, I found you other checks, and those are L&M, N&O, P&Q. Where do you get these incredible checks? In the Elite newsletter. Once you become a member, you go into the membership newsletter, and I actually have the links to go right in and get those incredible checks. Yeah, I do all the work for you. And that's why the Purple Power is doing so well and cleaning up. Viewers are averaging, many viewers are getting over $200,000 from this channel. And you can do it as well. We'll go over all those incredible checks in the big second half. Another reason to get those checks is the earnings recession. The earnings recession manifests itself really dramatically at the end of last week when Apple showed major trouble. Apple, the manufacturer of iPhones, was the only company that was that sort of gleaming hope out there. Let's take it back a notch. Where is this earnings recession gone? In May, we had Walmart and Target both report that the inflation and the recession were taking a negative impact on their consumer. The consumer was not coming in the store, they said at the time. And at the time I asked you, did you see less employees at the checkout in Walmart or Target? You did. And that basically teed up the earnings recession of May. Starting in May, a series of companies started to miss on corporate earnings. Then companies started to downward grade, downgrade and downward guide for the whole rest of this year. But here's what happened, and you and I saw this. You and I understood not to buy stocks. And while everything crashed in May, along came those disingenuous financial analysts saying buy, buy, buy in May. Stocks went up a little bit. June went up more. July went up. August went up. And you and I were all saying the same thing. Trouble with a capital T. Federal Reserve had said they're going to raise rates and not stop and raise those rates so that gives a target of 2%. And, we, and I said to you that the Federal Reserve's words are data and that Wall Street is ignoring the data. And Wall Street is not embedding the risk of more interest rate spikes into the markets. And by doing that, Wall Street is going to crash. That was my prediction to you, not to buy stocks, Wall Street's going to crash, and it's going to crash very severely because of their betting against the Federal Reserve. And then Jay Powell came out and said, just a, less than a week ago, he's raising those rates the rest of this year, next year, and the year after, when Wall Street was trying to tell its investors one more month. It crashed the markets. Let me, under, let me make it clear to you tonight. The severity of this Wall Street crash before we go into Apple Stocks are not at the lows of just this year. They're not at just the lows of 52 weeks. They're not just, in some cases, the lows since 2019 pre-COVID. In the case of some stocks, and they're under the ticker, under the, under the live show, they're at 1990s levels. That's how severe it is, and they fell that fast in less than 21 days. It's straight down. You got to pull out these charts. If you're watching the live show, pull up one of these stocks like Intel. Look at Ford, F or INTC, and look at the charts out more than three years, and you will see 
my goodness, I have never seen these prices of stocks for nearly over a decade. That's the trouble. And the trouble hit Apple. Apple was that gleaming hope. Apple had suggested that it was going to have record sales of their iPhones this holiday season. They said the consumer demand was still there. You know, I thought to myself, really, for a $1,000 cell phone? And then it wasn't. By the end of last week, Bank America downgraded Apple and other, uh, other technology companies, saying the consumer demand is not there. Weaker consumer demand is saying the sales, sales of the phones are not going to be there. We see a risk to outperformance over the next year, and we expect materially negative earnings revisions because of weaker consumer demand. Basically, they're saying the company is going to downward glide their earnings, and they're going to revise their earnings because they're not going to have the demand. Another problem. Supply chain disruption still around. There is still supply chain disruption, and Nike's now reporting it cannot get those shoes in from overseas, and they're worried about their earnings this holiday season. Yes, it's growing left and right. And all this means that you really have to get a force the most chunk in every US state. So with that, let's jump into the first three checks of those FSCs. Remember, the FSCs are the big checks from the federal government. Paid by the Congress, paid by the president, not paid by your state. Your state has nothing to do with it. It's sent for the federal government. It's the federal government's monies, and you apply through the federal government. And let's go over all those incredible first three checks, the first three of the 300 we got in this recording, because remember, you're going to say this big second half, I'm going to go over all the remainder of the checks. Let's just go over the first three right now. They are A, B, and C. Check A is $6,500 to $12,000, a forced and check in every U.S. state. It's the Weather Rising Grant check. And this is the check that Spelly got. And how do you get this incredible check? You step one and become a member. Go into this video, join the channel. Welcome to the 50 new members in the last 24 hours and the 100 new members in the last tw uh, two days. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP, under the channel, join. Then go down the membership newsletter. Deliver to you Monday through Friday. In the newsletter, I put for you the application links to Check A. All you do is click it. All you do is click the link for Check A in the membership newsletter and sends you right into the website. Choose your state and you apply. We're not done there yet. You're then going to go into Check B. Check B is down after Check A in the membership newsletter. Again, join this channel. Subscribe. Make sure all your alerts are turned all to on. And then go down the membership newsletter, check B, click the link, and go in and apply. You're ready to rock and roll. Check B is a lot of money. How many checks are in check B? Upwards of 80. Here's Frank Mancuso. After less than one month as a member, a few dollars paid out for a member got him tens of thousands of dollars. Imagine only paid a few dollars to become a member and got tens of thousands of dollars from this channel. He got 18 months of mortgage. That's a massive amount of money. 18 months of utilities, 18 months of high-speed internet. Another viewer out of Florida, she got nearly $100,000 for just a few dollars of membership on this channel. $100,000 for 80 to 100 checks of Check B. And you're not even done there yet. You're also then going to go get Check C. Check C is wonderful. And what is Check C? It's rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, more. How do you get Check C? Subscribe. Go on to this video, subscribe. Also, subscribe to L81. LA2 and LA3, all three channels of this broadcasting family. And LA2 has been on fire. And LA3 is delivering that cooking program in just a few days. You don't want to miss any of this wonderful deliciousness. Then go down the membership newsletter, you find Check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Now, in the case of Check C, I got 12 places to reach out to get it. So you're going to reach out to all 12. Promise me that. You're going to reach out to all 12 places for that rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. And let's look at some of the success stories that viewers have had from reaching out to all 12 places. Do you want $30,000 for rent? Here you go. Here are some success stories. In the last two weeks, two viewers got separately 14 months of rent. 14 months of rent, folks. That's nearly twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Then you want some utilities? Here you go. And last week, Lynn Glenn, longtime viewer of this channel, got 12 months of utilities. 12 months of utilities is not just a few dollars. That's massive thousands of dollars. 
Another of you also got 12 months of utilities. Here's Mark, his brother-in-law got $15,000 of utilities. The same brother-in-law got a quarter million dollars of SNAP. We're not done there yet. Combinations of all these checks so far in this recording, A, B, and C. Nisi at 23,000, she went to 50,000. She was in that live stream with me last night. I had a live stream on location, a lot of fun. You're gonna see a lot of fun, unusual shows coming to this channel in the next few weeks. And that's why you want to subscribe and tell people to come on over. Stand for stimulus. Mark, who's at 32,000. Well, then he went to 50. Then he went to 100. Then he got check B and went to 166. Here's Lorraine. She was at 105 and she went to 150. And there you go. Those are the incredible checks A, B, and C. But that's just a start. We got more of these incredible federal stimulus checks in the big second half. Yes, that'll bring you to $300,000 of checks, 300 checks of SFCs. Also coming up in the big second half, we're going to be looking at those ISCs, those inflation release stimulus checks, and LFCs, the lifetime stimulus, the raise of your benefits. And that's really big news. Now, the other breaking news happening across the board is the impact of Jay Powell. Jay Powell had given us guidance, and you and I knew what it was going to do, but he did even more. Jay Powell made very clear in the last week exactly what I predicted he was going to do. Let's take it back a notch. The latest details on the Federal Reserve is that the Federal Reserve last year messed up. Last year, the Federal Reserve said that inflation was going to be temporary or transitory. I said, no, it's not. In spring of 2021, I said inflation was going to be 8% and not temporary. Jay Powell had at the time a graph that basically went up and went right back down. That was his graph, and that's why I used to use that finger motion on this channel. Temporary transitory. I said it's not going to happen. It's going to be 8%. Then in spring of this year, it was 8%. Well, December of last year was also 8%. Jay Powell then said, I'm going to raise interest rates to battle inflation. I said it's not going to work. Because inflation is being caused by gasoline prices and supply chain disruption. Supply chain disruption is the inability to get the goods from the manufacturer or from the farm to you in a cheap way. The truck drivers, the shippers. Raising interest rates doesn't fix that. But he did it. Seven interest rate spikes into July. And yet, still, 8% inflation. By July, Wall Street was betting against the Federal Reserve. And they said that j Powell had one more interest rate spike in September. I said, no, he's going to do it all the rest of this year into next year. That was my projection. And Wall Street then found egg on their face. As I said, these betting against Wall Street, exec betting against Federal Reserve Wall Street executives are going to see a market crash. And it happened. When j Powell said something actually even bigger, interest rate spikes not just the end of this year, not just the year after that, but into 2024. That caused a massive implosion of the stock market. Let's explain how this works. I went over this last night on the live stream. People really like this. j Powell raises interest rates. If you raise interest rates, what happens? The bond market goes up because the bond mark, bond trades trade up the bonds because interest rates are going higher. What goes higher? The two-year bond, the 10-year bond, and the 30-year mortgage rate. Very, very simple way to calculate this. So this is why when j Powell announced that, the two-year bond, which was 3.7, suddenly was going up quickly. And I predicted it was going to go 4% by the end of the month. It did. Then the 30-year fixed mortgage rate, which is what people use to buy a home, 30-year mortgage rate fixed, had been at 3% earlier this year. Then it was at 6%. When Jay Powell announced that, I said it's going to go to 7%. And I said by December. It went to 7% in just a week. Yes, this is very severe. No one could afford a 6% mortgage to buy a home. No one could afford a 7%. No one is going to buy a home at 7% mortgage. And guess where I'm projecting this to go to next? 8% by the end of the year. Meantime, one of the elements I have not talked about in a few weeks is the yield curve inversion, the two-year bond and the 10-year bond. When they invert, you have a recession. They're more inverted now than ever before. So when bonds go up because j Powell raised rates, what goes down? Jump a live chat. You know the answer. Bonds go up. What goes down? Stocks. Absolutely. So stocks have gone down astronomically.
what's also going to go down as the 30-year mortgage rate goes up. Housing crashing even more than it was before. The housing market was in a recession in May, said the National Association of Home Builders. Tonight, can you imagine? We don't even have the data yet for the impact of a 7% mortgage. We will not, and this is brand new, I've never said this before because this is very important to understand, we will not have the housing data caused by a 7% mortgage rate for at least about 30 to 60 more days. Why? Because these are the people that are going into contract on a mortgage right now. It takes about a month to a month and a, to two months for an escrow. So the people who are buying homes right now are not buying on 7%. These are people who are closing escrow from two, three months ago when, you know, when the mortgage rates are, you know, three going to six. So they're the lucky people. We don't see the impact of this on the housing market until about November. Yeah, very, very severe thing coming on the horizon. Meantime, the big news is things are changing very quickly. So jump in the live chat. I want your answers to the following questions. We'll be answering those big second half. Number one, where do you believe that CPI dash W is going to be for September right in the right live chat right now? It's going to be released October 13th, and we'll answer that question in the big second half. Remember, in July, it was an 8.7. In August, it was an 8.9. I originally said it was an 8.9. Then I went to 8.95. Where do you believe that CPI-W will be in September? Next, where do you believe your benefits are going to raise to? The Seniors League had said 10% based upon a smaller CPI-W in July. Where do you believe your benefits are going to go? Jump a lot, chat. We'll answer that in the big second half. And finally, one of the biggest brand new questions on this channel when do you believe the stimulus stampede will happen? What is a stimulus stampede? When Americans really feel they cannot do this anymore. When the financial implosion really happens for them. The hitting the brick wall. They can't afford it anymore. They're on the brink of losing something, whether it's a car, home, uh, or uh, any, anything that is debt-laden and they really cannot afford it. When do you think that is really going to hit? Do you think it's three months? Do you think it's 10 months? Jump the live chat. We'll be answering that question in the big second half. Plus, we're going over all these incredible checks. <laughs> what a reason to get all, all these incredible checks. We'll be going over all 300 of these FSCs. We're going to go over those LSCs, those lifetime stimulus checks, and we're going to go over those automatic checks, ISCs. They all add up to massive MSC, baby. Massive money. We're all going to go, we're going to go over all those incredible sums of money in the big second half. Plus, we'll go over what to expect for this brand new week as well. See you back in 60 seconds as the evening's LA continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now in a big second half of evenings LA Late as we enter the month of October and massive FSCs are available. So far, we have gone over the first three checks of FSCs. They are checks A, B, and C. These are the ones 
done by the President of the United States. Then along came new other FSCs after the President's checks, and those are the ones done by Congress. And those are the wonderful checks E through K. And let's go over those incredible checks E through K, FSC, federal stimulus checks, right now. Now remember, these are from the federal government, paid by them, sent by the federal government, and you apply through the federal government. Check E is a $7,500. Wow, incredible. Check F, $4,000. Insane. G, 30% off. H, $2,000. Huge. I, $8,000. Are you kidding me? J, $8,000 again. And then K, $14,000. That's wonderful. Those are the wonderfuls E through K. These are the checks from Congress. These are FSCs. And there you go. But we got more FSCs after that. And what are those incredible FSCs? Well, I found you more checks, and I'll continue to find you checks as you stay a member over the next few weeks. Here are some more FSCs. L and M. L is $100,000 of a loan interest-free money on average, and M is $4,000 of grant money for you to keep closing cost assistance. N is one of my favorite of the stimuluses, one of my favorite. N is a brand new tablet, brand new computer, brand new laptop, $100 value from participating providers. Most tablets are less than $100, so this is wonderful. Can you imagine a $100 tablet? It's just incredible. Plus, um, free internet, huge. Stimulus O, zero down payment, zero closing costs, zero credit check, and zero insurance required. This is for purchasing a brand a new home. Then we have stimulus P. If you have an existing home and you want to refi, 3% down, huge. And then also $8,000 of free money on top of that for uh, stimulus O. A Q, just absolutely incredible. So there you go. That is the cumulative stimuluses A to Q FSCs. Now let's go over something remember. At stimulus B, at stimulus check B, that is not one check, but that is 80 to 100 checks because it's your mortgage plus your utilities. Let's look and see what Frank Mancuso did for that stimulus B. Yeah, look at all those incredible checks he got for stimulus B. Uh, and uh, viewers are average about 18 months of about five checks a month. 18 months of MSCs at about five checks a month. That's huge. Stimulus C is even more because it's the same thing, 18 months on average of about five checks a month. The only difference with stimulus C is I have 12 places for you to reach out to for 80 checks, and you're gonna reach out to all 12 places. What's the largest of these checks? $100,000. What's the smallest of the checks? About $8,000. Fastest routing time? Johnny got 45,000 on a Wednesday, he started on a Monday. By Friday, he got $80,000. So $45,000 in two days, $80,000 in four days. Incredible. And what's important to understand is you need to get these FSCs now, not later. Right away, become a member because you need to be able to get that financial independence ready, set, and go now before the recession hits dramatically. You don't show up to this channel after the fact, say, I'm now struggling. No, you get this money right now. You go get it. It's, a, it's an active verb. Get it. So pounce and get it all these incredible sums of money. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Join this channel. And step three, make sure you have all those notifications on that bell set to all on and start applying for all those checks in the membership newsletter. And that's FSC. Now, Ready for some other checks? I bet you are. You're ready for those? Those are ISCs. Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks. These Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks are great. They're from your state. These are actually from your state. But here's what you need to know about them. They're nice. They'll pay some bills for a few weeks, but not for a few years. They're about $1,000 or less, number one. You qualify, number two. And number three, virtually every state's doing it. Number four, you have to have a tax return jolly on file. So if you never file a tax return, you can voluntarily, voluntarily file a tax return. Just go to irs.gov and electronically send it in. It's very easy. How do you get these incredible, uh, how do you get these incredible 
IISC, Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks. Well, you as a member, go down the membership newsletter to check D, D like donut. Go into check D, it sends you into the whole list of states doing ISCs, which is almost all states. At a respective state, individual state, it'll tell you the state, the amount of the check, and then it'll give you a link to go into your state's website that's dedicated to just their ISC. It'll, and on that website, it'll tell you how what it's what it how, what it's about, how it lands, direct deposit, otherwise the mail, what date, even in some cases how to track it. Incredible. There you go. Is those incredible I. SCs. Now, on top of those ISCs, on top of those FSCs, we got LSCs, lifetime stimulus checks. Why? Because of inflation that Jay Powell's battling. That lifetime stimulus is absolutely wonderful. It's everything we had hoped for. It is everything we had talked about. We have talked about SS200, SS300 for two years, and it's absolutely happening exactly like we thought it would. Let's go over what this means and why we call it lifetime stimulus. It's lifetime because once your benefits go up, they never go down. So let's say, for example, your benefits uh, rise up 10% this year. Well, that's not just 10% this year. It's lifetime. And j has already told us that inflation is going to be hitting again next year. So you're going to get another lift next year on top of this year's lift. And the year after that, yes, as well. So the data that we're looking at tonight on evening to late is fascinating because remember that inflation came in higher and that inflation coming in higher means your benefits are going up even more. All right, let's go over the details. Yeah, some of you are going to have 5,000, some of you more, some of you less. This is you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. The data we're looking for is October 13th, but you and I already know the answer tonight. And I asked it early in the first part of this recording. Let's go over the answers right now. I'll ask it again. Where do you believe the CPI-W for September will be? Write it again on the live chat, comma, your state. My answer tonight, 9.1, comma, California. 9.1, comma, California. Yeah, I changed a lot. Let's go over the details. Your benefits are going up based upon a benchmark. That benchmark is COLA, which is released October 13th. COLA is determined by CPI-W of July, August, and September. The July CPI was already released as 8.7. August was 8.9. And the September CPI-W is released also on October 13th. But I've been training you for over three months on how to determine these CPI-Ws, and you've done a great job. But you and I have seen what has happened in this, well, the last month of September. In the final weeks of the month of September, something changed. And it was no surprise to you and I, because we all knew it was going to happen. Back in July, again, I made another prediction. Again, this was correct. I said in July that gasoline always goes up in September. Why? Increased demand. Because people back at school, people back from holiday traveling. Number two. Natural disasters. It's hurricane season, September. So hurricane season always takes refineries offline, and that means less production, more demand, higher gas prices. So you and I all were expecting higher gas prices in September, and then it started before Hurricane Ian. About two weeks ago, members of this channel were watching the newsletter like I was, as gasoline that had fallen 10 cents a day every day since Putin invaded Ukraine suddenly stopped falling flat and then started going up exactly as predict as i predicted gasoline was starting to go up triple a national average is now going up about 10 cents a day after falling 20 cents a day gasoline is back at seven dollars a gallon here in los angeles again this is a dramatic reversal of events very very quickly and it happened in the final two to three weeks of the month of september and this is why i and you we're changing our CPI-W projections over the last two weeks. I had said that initially I wanted, an, I was looking at an 8.9 CPI-W before the gasoline changed. I was looking at basically the same numbers in the month of August. Again, 8.7, July, 8.9, August. And I was saying 8.9 again in September. 
until the gasoline started moving back up. At that point, I said 8.95. And I said, if by the end of September, if gasoline continues to go up, I'll go to a 9.0. It continued to go up, but because it went up even more, my projection tonight, 9.1 CPI dash W month of September. So what is yours? Again, 8.7 July, 8.9 August, my projection, final projection for September, 9.1 comma California. Jump in the live chat, write your, your projection as well. Now, I also asked early in this video, where do you believe that the benefit raise will go? The seniors league in the month of July with an 8.7 CPI dash W said 11 said 10%. I am saying still 11%. Where do you believe your benefits are going to go? Some viewers have said 13%. Some have had said 10. Some have said 11. I'm saying 11%. And what have people said about that CPI-W? There is no viewer that I've seen in any of the chats for two weeks putting any CPI-W for September in the eights. They're all putting in the nines. 9, 9, 0, 9, 1, 9, 2, 9, 3. Yeah, so that is where it come in and across the board. This is all why you're here. It's easy to do this. It's easy to learn this. How do we learn CPI-W so quickly on this channel? How did we learn it? First, we understood that the only number going down in it was gasoline in July and August. Then we went over the numbers that always go up. The rent always going up about 1% per month. The Medical bills always going up about 1% per month. And the salaries always going up about 2%, about 0.2% per month. That was easy. Then we went over the milk and eggs. And everyone said going up, except me. In California, sometimes I saw the milk going down. We went over the meat and the, and the chicken all going up. Tonight, I asked the question again. Are the groceries going up? Answer, up or down, come your state in the live chat. My answer groceries, comma, up, comma, California. So when you look at that CPI-W, there's nothing in there going down. There's nothing going down. Rent, salaries, medical, food, there's nothing going down in that CPI-W. So this is easy. Now, if this was to be made any easier for you, it can. How is this made even easier for you to analyze it? The PCE, which is what we started this video with. Because that PCE showed, personal consumption expenditure index, showed a rise, a higher number, month to month, and that number, that PCE, is generally indicative of what's going to happen on the CPI just two weeks out, then this is an easy predictor. You've done a great job. Congratulations. Now, let's go back to that other question I asked in the first half of this video. When do you believe the financial cliff is going to hit? What is a financial cliff? The financial cliff featured on this channel for a long time was described as an event for September. Let me go over the details of it. I had said that there's going to be a very change, uh, earlier this year, I said there's going to be a very quick change in which events that look like you can survive, that you're doing potentially financially well, you're financially independent, suddenly changes very quickly and then becomes austere. I had put that in September. It clearly happened. <laughs> It clearly happened. If you don't know what had happened, let's go over what happened the month of September. We started the month of September with stocks, you know, not that particularly bad, just doing decently, some up. And we were coming off of August when they were up. And in the September, stocks lost all their valuation. Stocks were going down about 3% a day. Some stocks are down 20% a day. Stocks fell not to their yearly lows, not to their 52-week lows, but in some cases to their lowest lows since pre-COVID, in some cases the lows since the 1990s. Housing market really imploded dramatically after it had fallen apart starting the month of May. And crypto, people trying to say there was a resistance level of 21,000 for Bitcoin, it wasn't. Bitcoin trading at almost close to $18,000 tonight. Yeah, so all these respective markets fell apart very quickly. No one in the middle class is feeling great. No one in the upper class is feeling great. No one in the lower class is feeling great. And the people going paycheck to paycheck, more people are than ever before. So the financial cliff hit in September. But this is a different question tonight. When do you believe the stimulus stampede is going to happen? This is where people just can't do it anymore. 
people start to lose things. When you start to see people losing things, losing a car, losing a home, losing, uh, having problems with credit card debt, having a big, uh, losing their job, not able to find a job, store closures, uh, bankruptcies of corporations, hiring freezes. When do you see that type of stimulus stampede events happening? Jump in the live chat and write your answer. My projection, 90 days. I'm putting it 90 days from now. And maybe I'm a little too soon. Maybe I'm a little too late. One viewer in the LLA live show that ended this morning had a great comment. She put it in about February 2023. Her analysis was they're spending, they're spending. They have the ability to spend until they realize they cannot afford what they spent. Fascinating analysis. Basically what she's saying is that they have, the, they have enough uh, ability to put stuff on their credit card. They have enough ability to, to raise more debt. They have more ability to dip into savings. And until they're dipping and that debt has been maxed out, which is a fascinating analysis by her. I love her analysis. Until they max out their spending, their debt, uh, then they don't really hit the wall until that event happens. And she puts it in February. I like that analysis. I really do like that analysis. It's a different way of looking at the situation. Why is it important for us to even know this answer? Because it's a different environment. It's going to be a different environment. All those people will be here. All those people will show up. A lot of those people are people that were here before for COVID. They went on a lockdown. The lockdown maybe was for three months for the where they live. Maybe it was six months. They needed help for their business. They got an EIDL grant or EIDL loan. They needed unemployment assistance. And they got that wonderful FPUC, the $600 on top of their existing benefits. They maybe were an Uber Lyft driver. You know, Lyft has that hiring freeze announced this last week, and they're not hiring any more employees. And don't expect them, don't be surprised if they start to lay off employees. And suddenly people realized during the pandemic that they needed assistance, and it was there. The difference this time around is apples and oranges. This is not going to be a three-month pandemic. This is not going to be a one-year pandemic. This is going to be a two-year recession. Congress is not going to come around and do business grants. Congress is not going to come around and do FPC. Congress is not going to come around and do PUC, which gives you extra weeks of benefits. Yeah, you'll run out of weeks of benefits. You'll week, run out of weeks of unemployment benefits. Congress is not going to do that. So I do believe in the back of my mind that people think that Kong, th those people that are not watching the channel at the moment that are going to show up the similar stampede are going to think that those items from COVID stimulus are still around and they aren't. This stimulus I have right now, different. It's totally different. It's great. I mean, this type of stimulus is better than in some cases than the COVID stimulus. It's absolutely wonderful but it's available now and you want to get it right now before that stimulus stampede shows up because when the stimulus stampede shows up those will be people that are absolutely going to grab every dollar i have available for you on this channel and you don't want to wait for that event to happen you want to get your money right now so what do you do number one you remove any adjustable rate debt in your household so remove credit card debt, car loans, anything that is adjustable rate debt. Switch it to fix if you can. Otherwise, pay it off. Number two, decrease your spending. Yeah, that view is right. The spending is out of control. And we see that from the Bank of America report, that people are spending by dipping into their savings. No bueno. They're spending by raising credit card debt. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, that's just, it's crazy that people would do that. Because the credit card, rate is higher than it ever has been and imagine what's going to happen you put it on the credit card j powell raises rates in october november december yeah that credit card rate is not going to be the rate the credit card rate of, of this week is going to be a totally different rate by december it's going to be through the roof and people are not no one looks at the credit card rate on the credit card they just you know put it on the credit card and that spending will bite them 
Number three, you get as much stimulus as you can. You raise your stimulus. And that raising that stimulus will then get that financial independence. What is financial independence? The ability to weather the storm. If you look back over the last two years, strangely, oddly, and yet proudly, all the projections that I have had for this economy have been correct and not been said by anyone else except me. Let's go over them right now. In spring of 2021, I was the only financial analyst on TV saying that the U.S. economy would have 8% of inflation by December and that it would not be temporary. Everyone else is saying 2% and temporary. Number two, in spring of 2022 this year, I said that supply chain disruption is causing inflation and that raising interest rates is not going to get inflation down. It did not. Seven interest rate spikes by July, inflation was still 8%. It's still 8% to 9 Number three, I then told you that in May, all those incredible news statements coming in from Walmart and Target basically said that this economy does not have that consumer confidence as it once did. The buyer's not there, and companies will be downward guiding, and that because of that earnings recession, you should not be buying stocks. In May, I said very clearly, do not buy anything. Do not buy stocks, do not buy homes, do not buy cars. Wall Street said the opposite. Wall Street told you buy, buy, buy in May, June, July, and August. And we saw where that took them. Then, in February this year, I was the first and the only financial analyst in America to record that the U.S. economy was going to have a recession for two years. No one would even dare say the R word. Bank heads like Jamie Dimon at J.P. Morgan Chase avoided even saying the word. They would say things like storm and uncertainty. They refused to use the word. And certainly after the Atlanta Fed GDP now number today, more people will still avoid to say the word recession. Next, I said to you that the Federal Reserve will be raising rates into the end of this year and that Wall Street is saying the opposite, one raise in September and that they have not embedded that risk into the markets, and that the markets will crash because they've not embedded the risk of more interest rate spikes. The market crashed, and crashed dramatically, and has continued to crash when Jay Powell made those comments less than a week ago. Interest rate spikes into 2024. I told you the two-year bond was going to go to 4% by the end of the month. It did. I told you the 30-year mortgage rate was going to go to 7% by Christmas. It went by the end of the week. And tonight, I'm telling you the 30-year mortgage rate is going to 8% by the end of this year. Trouble. The other brand new detail I'm saying tonight is that the impact of the housing market is not going to really be seen until about November. Why? Because the people that are looking to buy a home and suddenly see, oh, there's a 7% mortgage, they don't see that until the last two weeks. That means their escrow won't close for about two months from now. Yeah, the people closing escrow right now in the housing market are people who have a lower interest rate because they got it locked in two months ago, three months ago. And that, my friends, is why you want to become a member. One viewer in the, two viewers in the live chat said last night, the kindest words I've seen in a long time. They said, L.A. Light, he has gotten it right time and time again. He has told us where we're going. He has given us guidance. And you don't want to miss out on anything he says on a regular basis because he will give you all the news before it happens. I really appreciate those kind words for that very, very kind viewer. And I thanked him in the live chat when he said it. It's very, very true. Information is what pe puts people ahead of the ball game. I haven't said this in a long time. The reason why you learn is not only to earn, but also to be ahead of everyone else. When a recession hits, people who did not want to take the time to watch this video to the very end, like you are right now, will have not learned and prepared accordingly. And they will not be able to weather the recession as great as you are. When you take the time to watch the videos throughout the day, and I mean all the videos, you really learn a lot. The videos don't overlap. When you take the time to pounce and get all those credible checks, you prepare your wallet for the financial uncertainty that's on the horizon. And that's why I thank you so much from the deep parts of my heart for your patronage. Remember to watch all the incredible shows. The programming starts 
before sunrise at 3 a.m. with sunrise, 3.30 with sunrise, then 4 a.m. early mornings at light. The programming continues at 7 a.m. with mornings countdown. Then it continues thereafter with mornings at light 9 a.m. Home at light 11 a.m. is now replaced with holidays at light. Your favorite show is back on. And yes, we even have a trailer with Santa's surfboard. <laughs> then we go into our programming at 1 o'clock, afternoons at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and a brand new 4 o'clock afternoons. And then evenings at 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then the programming of overnights LA continues throughout the night. Make sure you get all this incredible sums of money. Make sure you get all this incredible information. And make sure you hashtag Stanford Stimulus. To all your friends and family, come on over because they deserve to know as much as you know. And they deserve to be ahead of the ball game as much as you are. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful evening. Make sure you get every pot of money you can. Remember, all these incredible checks are for you right now. You get them. You don't wait. You stay informed, you pounce, and you stay with LA for more. <laughs>